Hello and welcome to this world edit tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn everything you need to know in regards to world edit. This video is split up into 8 sections. Defining regions, history, selection, region operations, pasting, terraforming, tools and extras. First up you have defining regions. There's two ways to do it. The first way is by doing um, getting the wand up by doing slash slash wand and the default wand is um, a wooden axe as you can see and basically what it does is it sets the um, two corners the two diagonals of your region so think of it as a square if I get some dirt um, think of it as a square if if that's the bottom left corner and this is the top right corner it makes a square so that was just an example and uh, I'll actually show you what to do now so you left click your place uh, for the first position as you can see it's down there it says first position set and the coordinates and you right click for second position and it says the coordinates so that's um, one way you can define a region the other way is by looking at the region so I mean you could if you can't reach a place you could do say I want to um, point at that dirt block right there you can't really see it because my crosshairs over there if you do a uh, slash slash h pause one then you do point to the second place and you do slash slash a h pause two and that's um, set a region so if I just do set one there you go it's set a region just by me looking at it so yeah that's about it for defining regions I'll see you on the next part next up we have region operations which is the simplest form of world edit commands you s select your region by left clicking and right clicking and then the first command we're going to do is we're going to do set slash slash set and then followed by the item id uh, one is stone um, you know etc etc you can do loads of ids it also picks up some item names for example set dirt set stone oops set st stone set cobble and so on and so on and so on now um, again with world edit you don't have to have a flat um, uh, projection you can do the first click there and then you can make a little dirt tower so if you want your cube to be four tall you do one two three four and put your second point there and if you do set one there you go you've got a cube that oops you've got a cube that is four tall so that's set next you have outline uh, which is basically um, it's kind of confuses you a bit because it's not an outline it's basically making a blank room so if you um, <clears throat> well so yeah it's a blank room and you have the first point is where you want the floor to be so if you select your first point there the floor will start there so you have to select there uh, that's the floor and then if you want it five tall four tall sorry one two three four right click then you do slash slash outline and then the ID and then if I get a, a diamond pick it's a hollow room there you go it's a hollow room so that's what outline does and uh, next we have walls which is basically the name says it all um, it's basically an outline um, so if you do slash walls one it makes a little um, outline of it you can also do this to uh, uh, make a raised wall by doing one two so that's three tall and like this so it's raised uh, so that's what that does next up we have copy and pasting this chapter also includes rotating so here we have an S in diamond blocks. Obviously, it can be anything you want. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the copy uh, first. So you click the first point and the second point. Make sure you've selected the whole um, shape you're trying to copy. And then this is very important. The point at which you write slash slash copy is the point at which you will paste the item. So. Uh, it's it's hard to explain but it's easy to show so I'll just show you so if I click 
if I write copy when I'm standing on this block, it will paste where I stand. So if I um, so paste again, and it pastes from this block because I copied from that block. This is a this is a thing that I got extremely confused mainly because, well, I I wasn't copying in the right place. So let me just do that again. Select a region like that, and you write slash slash copy from the place you want to copy the structure from. So if I uh, stand up and then I paste, it pastes from that block because you copied on that block. Next you have um, rotate, you could rotate in multiples of 90, so if we do rotate 90, rotate, rotate 90, and then we just paste, it's rotated 90. If we do ro rotate 180 and we come over here, paste, it's rotated 180. You can't see obviously because it's an S, but uh, so that's basically it. Um, yeah, so, then, so see you in the next part. Next we have terraforming, which is basically editing landscapes, uh, which World well, Dead is very good for. Here's an example, a hollow sphere. Um, you, I mean a hollow, a hollow cylinder, and I'll show you how to do that now. Um, you select your region, um, first and second, on the, on the same place, and stand on that. And then if you do, for a hollow sphere, you do, I mean cylinder, H, sil, hollow cylinder you do the block which is one for stone you do the radius I'll do five radius and I'll do five height so that's command H sil stone for one um, five for the radius and five for the height and it creates a hollow sphere around you next you have a sphere not a hollow one if you just select the regions and stand on it um, you do, s I mean, I keep saying sphere, I mean cylinder. Sill for cylinder, I'll do one for stone, five radius, and a five height. And then you're inside the cylinder, so you just have to do slash top, and you have a cylinder. Next, you have a sphere, I'll get some space. Select the region, both on the same place, and then stand on that. Sphere. And then, no, sorry, I meant, didn't mean to do that. You do slash slash sphere block. And then you do radius. And then it makes a sphere. So, as you can see, um, that's raised. So, you don't really need that to create a hollow sphere. You just do, I'll do that again for you. Slash sphere block one for stone and radius five makes a ra uh, a stone sphere with a radius of five next you have hollow sphere uh, h sphere block is one i mean i'll do 20 this time for glass so you can see radius will have five again and it creates a hollow sphere around you top uh, just let me get out of this sphere next it has something that's really cool um, it's called terraforming, which basically means you like make mountains and stuff. So you need, uh, um, per command, you need a different tool. So I've got diamond pickaxe, a stick, and a stone pickaxe, just for, as an example. And we'll start. The general command is br. Oh, sorry, br, and it'll tell you all the b uh, the brushes you can use. Br stands for b uh, brush. So if you do BR sphere, then it tells you the format. You do BR sphere, forget about the height. You do one for stone and five for radius. And then if you right click with the tool, you make a sphere. Now, isn't that cool? And then I'm gonna do it with the stick. If I do BR sphere, uh, I don't know the ID for grass, so I'll just write grass. And the radius for five you make a grass block and then another brush you can use is um br 
smooth and and that uh, oops that affects a I mean that gives you a smooth brush which you can smooth with and so that's quite cool you can smooth landscapes with, with it to make it more, look more realistic as you can see that is quite realistic let's see what else what brushes you have you have cylinder yeah so that's basically it and um, yeah so see you in the next part next is a really quick chapter it's um, how to undo and redo um, so if I do if I just do a world edit command which is make some stone spheres and I say I misplace that one I can do slash slash undo and undo, undoes it um, if you do slash undo and a number it'll un say I do slash undo five it'll undo five actions so that that's it and if I if I don't want to if I want to redo what I just undid if you do slash redo it, it gets back a sphere and since I undid five times if you do slash redo five you get all your spheres back so that's basically it and I'll see you in the next chapter okay now we have tools these are so useful in uh, world edit and basically what they do is just help you out a lot first you have the simple single super pickaxe by doing slash slash and it just basically whacks a block instantly so if you've got some obsidian or even bedrock it breaks bedrock so that's good so you can break those annoying bro blocks very easy um, to disable it you do slash slash again and to enable it you do that also within this um, super pickaxe you can do slash slash sp um, area which is super pickaxe area and a radius the maximum radius is five so I'll do five and look what happens when you click BAM it, it makes um it digs like a massive hole around you so that's quite cool um, so if you can just constantly do it until bedrock there you go just makes a massive hole and um, next you have the tool I mean the tree tool if you do slash tree let me just uh, disable the soup pickaxe and if you right click with the tree I mean with your pickaxe um, or the tool you've bound it to uh, you can make trees again you don't um, for the tree tool you, ca you can do it with other tools such as a stick and a stone pickaxe I'm just using a diamond and um, so yeah that makes trees and I'll see you in the next part next up we have extras which is basically a bunch of uh, cool and nifty um, commands first one we have is slash slash thaw it gets rid of snow and ice in the area you can also do thaw and radius so if I want to do it within 10 blocks you do thaw 10 and it just melts within 10 blocks of me next you have let me just break up some water currents like this next if the let me just disable that if you see this water how annoying it is it's all flowy if you do if you fly in, well not fly if you just go into the water and do slash fix water and the radius I'll do 20 fixes the water so that's an extremely useful command next you have drain uh, and you just do drain with the radius so if I want to drain five it drains five blocks within me and um, next you have forest gen so I'll do it here in this random cobble square I don't know why it's there if I do forest gen it makes a forest around you if you do slash pumpkins it makes a pumpkin forest with leaves for some reason I don't know but they'll go away and um, yeah that's about it so thanks for watching if you like this video and it's helpful please subscribe comment on the video and like it and I'll see you later